Meet Barry. Ten years ago, he moved to Dubai and had a very nice time, thank you, working hard and enjoying himself in the sun. During that time, he built up a really useful retirement pot of £100,000 by investing in a Friends Provident International offshore bond. Missing the rain, Barry moved back to the UK four years ago. He now wants to surrender his bond and start spending his money. That £100,000 bond has now grown to £180,000 and he knows he will have to pay tax on the £80,000 gain. Now, here's the thing. Barry tells HMRC that during the ten years of his bond's existence, he's only been resident in the UK for four of them. He was an expatriate for six years, and when he surrenders his bond, this will be taken into account. Barry is smart enough to realise time apportionment relief is a complex matter, and that he needs financial advice to help him. Let's do the sum. Barry's gain over the 10-year period was £80,000. He was resident in Dubai for six of those years and in the UK for four of them. HMRC's rules say that only four-tenths of his gain was made while he was a UK resident, so he will only have to pay tax on four-tenths of the gain. Four-tenths to HMRC. That means that when he surrenders his bond, Barry will be taxed on only £32,000 of his gain instead of £80,000, saving him tax on well over half and giving something to HMRC too. Leaving Barry with more money to enjoy in his retirement. Luckily, Barry had spent some time discussing his investments with his financial adviser. Time apportionment relief is a complex matter, but it's a benefit unique to unit-linked investment contracts. So, to understand what it means to you, talk to your financial advisor about the tax you will need to pay if you're returning to dear old Blighty. To find more detail on time apportionment relief and other related subjects, go to our website.